Have you taught your children memorized prayers? I remember praying the God is great, God is good prayer before meals, and now I lay me down to sleep at bedtime. But the prayer that took the most effort to learn was the Lord's Prayer. Do children benefit from saying memorized prayers? Hi, I'm Emily, and this is Sunday School Solutions. When the Lord Jesus was on earth, he taught his disciples the Lord's Prayer as an example to follow. Teaching with examples helps learners grow to understand concepts and how they fit together. Through the children's prayers I said, I developed an understanding of who God is. He is great, good, he gives me food, I should thank him, he watches over me, and when I die, I'll live with him. As I grew in understanding and making connections, I learned how to formulate my own prayers. When Jesus taught the Lord's Prayer, he did not intend for it just to be repeated. He wanted people to learn it, understand it, and then apply it in their own prayer lives. For children, memorizing the Lord's Prayer is the first step, but our goal should be to help them understand it and apply it in their own prayers. Let's look at the three sections of the Lord's Prayer and use questions to build understanding. First, focus on God. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. What does it mean that God is your Father? God wants to be your loving heavenly Father, but only those who have received the Lord Jesus as Savior are children in God's family. If you are God's child, then you have the right to call him Father. Why should God's name be hallowed? Hallowed means honored and holy. When you call God's name in prayer, you are talking to the all-powerful creator of the universe. He deserves your respect. Honor God's name by how you pray, with honesty and treating him as most important. What is God's kingdom and how do you know his will? God, the great ruler over all, is perfect, powerful, loving, just, and all-knowing. He wants his will to be done because he knows what is best. Right now, he allows Satan to work on earth, but God sets limits on what Satan can do. You can ask God to rule in your heart and not allow Satan to carry out his purposes in your life. You can read God's word, the Bible, to learn more about his will. God promised that someday he will bind Satan and set up his wonderful kingdom on earth and live among us as our king. We should look forward to that day. But now, while Satan can tempt us, we should pray that God will have his perfect way in our lives. Second, trust God with your needs. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. What does it mean to ask for daily bread? Since everything ultimately comes from God, you should look to him to take care of your needs each day. Don't worry about the future. You can trust God will provide. Third, remember God's power. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is a wonderful way to end any prayer. It's important to remember our God rules over all and he alone has the power to help us each day. You can use the example of the Lord's Prayer to teach children how to pray. Visit cefonline.com to read the full article, Understanding the Lord's Prayer. Join us next time as we discuss the acts of prayer.